I'm sorry. I left you. I definitely, I definitely did. Um, I did. There, I had reasons, but mm. 2020 would have been a good time to come back. And I didn't. And things caught on fire. So you cut your hair a little bit. You maybe get some new glasses. I did. I'm not wearing them, but I got them. Uh, you paint your nails and you get on with it. You just get on with it. We're going to bake something like we always did back when we were together. We're just going to make a holla because there's nothing better when you're sad than bread with honey. This one has apples. It's a pretty easy recipe. You put all the stuff in a bowl and you mix it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. The first step is our old friend make a yeast in a water and this goes in the microwave to get warm. You want it to be between 95 and 105 degrees. Who cares though? Don't measure it. Not important. The yeast will be fine. You know, I really do this show because I like baking, but also because I really like editing. Um, with med school, if I was doing this, I would just edit all the time. And I would never study like hearts and stuff that's important. So, but I needed something. Needed a hobby back, so we're back. Into this goes one tablespoon of active dry yeast. Good. Take a little whisk. Whisk it up. But you know what? I actually know where my bebe whisk is. Will I ever bake anything without making 6,000 dishes? Nope. This is saying uh, to mix all the dough ingredients together. So I guess we'll just do that. So we have four cups of flour. That goes in there. That is the water and the yeast. We have six tablespoons of vegetable oil. They said safflower. I don't have that because I'm not a fancy person. So whatever, vegetable oil. Quarter cup of honey. Here's a fun honey tip. Coat your honey measurer with oil so that it just slides right out. Great. This is local honey because I think if you're gonna take the time to make a whole ass bread, you gotta use good ingredients. What next? Oh, two large eggs. Come on. Two, one and a half teaspoons of salt, roughly measured, meaning I didn't measure it. And that's, I think, it, because this stuff is for later. Take your dough hook and do that to it. Put it, make it go. We're going to mix it on medium low speed for six minutes, and it's going to be great. We'll come back when it's done. I'm gonna say that that's done. It's very stretchy, very nice. <sighs> okay. They're gonna say, let it rise in an oiled bowl, and you're gonna be like, huh, I guess I better dirty another bowl. Mm -mm. Just take it out, put it on the counter. It's not sticky. Two hours. Uh, I guess I'll go watch some lectures and we'll come back and we'll finish this up. This is, it's not hard. Maybe make two. Give one to a friend. 
like leave it on their porch though and don't go near them. Okay. Hush. I'm gonna pick you up. Oh no. <laughs> she was screaming, so that's what happens. It's been two hours uh, about, I don't know, I watched some lectures, I took some notes. They're probably not good notes. Here's our dough. Looking nice. Next step is to grease a pan. We're going to use a springform pan because I don't know how big this is going to be and I don't want to use a cake pan because the sides are tiny. This is my grease and butter. Just lives in the fridge, half unwrapped. Rub, 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 rub. I will pick you up again. I will pick your whole ass up. She doesn't know what's good for her. Then I like to smooth the butter in the pan, get it all into the cracks and crannies. deflate the risen dough and we're going to transfer it to a greased work surface. This is greased. Lovely. We're going to take this out. Boop, boop, boop. Punch it down a little. Yeah. This is saying to make it a 8 by 10 inch rectangle. This part of my finger is an inch. Five, six, seven, a little bit more. Find part of your body that is a known length. Not that part. This is three cups of apples, uh, 50 grams of sugar, I don't remember how much, probably a quarter cup, and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. They say toss it together. I didn't, I don't want to make another bowl. So we're going to do this. All right, we're supposed to put half in the middle. Wrap it up. And then, get in there, get in there. Do some of this, wrap it up. That's pretty. I'm gonna pinch it shut. Take a knife, cut it into eight chunks. We just shove these in the pan, I guess. In the broken pan. The pan that is broken. Because you suck. And you can't have nice things. Here we go. In we go. Just kind of poke it in there. I assume you can just whatever it. I don't know that this is wrong. A single layer. Just shove it in there. Here we go. This is ready. It's going to sit for another hour, which means another lecture. And then we'll put it in the oven at 325. And when we come back, I have a special announcement for you. Stay tuned. Holla. We need to beat one egg and brush it on the bread so that it browns and is shiny. If you try to bake this without brushing egg on it, it will just stay pale and gross looking. Just like me. I have egg needs, I need an egg. Egg. Splash of water. Egg wash. Grab a pastry brush. Get it all in there. While we're brushing our egg onto our dough, I wanted to tell you or ask you, I think I want to do like a weekly <laughs> advice, tell you how to live your life thing. Um, if you're interested, just leave a question in a comment about 
something you're needing advice about. These are trying times for all of us. And I am a lady who has, like, been through some stuff. Like, we don't need to go into it. Hit me up. Leave a comment. I'll make another video. We'll have a time. It'll be great. Anyway, pff, enough about that. Let's get some sugar onto this. I have here some turbinado sugar. Sprinkle all around. We're going to bake this for a million years at 325. When we finally come back to finish up, we'll have bread. Um, I made a mess. I've made a mess. Oops. We're done. Made some holla. There she is. She looks great. Yeah, you look great. We can unbox it. There she is. It's got apples and honey. That's pretty great. So that's it. I hope you're safe. I hope your family's been safe. It's been hard. It's been weird. But turns out you can still make stuff. If you have questions and you want advice, leave a comment with your question and we will have a chat about your business, about your business. Yeah.